Welcome back writers. Today we're going to be looking at open genre and writing an informational piece of text. So um, in your canvas you have your mentor text. It's called what you may not know about past presidents. Um, reading through that there's a lot of interesting information. So that's our goal for today is to provide our reader with information that they may not otherwise know about. So to get you going with doing this we need to first look at that mentor text. So as you click that open, you may notice that there is an introductory paragraph and also there is a bolded sentence followed by a paragraph explaining about that sentence. And there are 10 of these. So in our text today, we're not gonna be making 10 of them, but two or three seems about, about right. All right, so we're doing open genre, informational writing today, trying it out, mentor text, noticings. We've got those things under our belt. So now, now what, right? So what do I know about that? Let's, let's use a strategy. Okay, so look at the title starter. What you may not know about blank. And we give you some ideas as to what you could, what you could write about. What you may not know about being quarantined during coronavirus. What you may not know about Fortnite. What you may not know about Eastgate Middle School. What you may not know about um, living in Kansas City. Anything that comes to mind, these are things that you could be writing about. All right, so number two, think, what comes to mind when you say that? So if I say, um, what you may not know about living in Kansas City, and I can't really think of a lot, then I probably need to come up with another item on my list, okay? So step three then, make a list of things you do know a lot about. And then do I know at least two to three things that I can explain? And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. And then number four, teach heart to brainstorm. Okay, so taking this work and moving forward, I've done what I need to do for steps two, three, and four. Let me show you. So step three, list of things I know a lot about. Well. We recently made some sugar cookies that were all detailed, little carrots and rabbits and Easter eggs. So that's pretty fresh in my mind. I know a lot about baking cookies, but do I think that's gonna be interesting? Eh, I don't know. So then I did Animal Crossing because in lieu of being quarantined for COVID-19, well, we've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. New Horizons. New Horizons game sets, okay. So that could be something. And then making earrings. You guys know that that's kind of a little side fun that I get to have sometimes. I make some earrings. But again, there's not really a lot to explain. I don't know that my readers will really be interested. So need to add something else to my list. Okay, what about reading books? Ooh, things you may not know about, what you may not know about reading books. It's mm. relaxing. It gives you a place to escape to. Like recently I've been reading a series and it's like I'm escaping back to Elizabethan times back in like the 16th century. It's been pretty cool. But do I know enough to write about that? Do I think my reader's gonna be interested? Hmm. Well, right now the most fresh thing in my mind that I think I have a lot to write about would be Animal Crossing. So step four, I've gotta make my tea chart. So um, fishing, and selling fish to Timmy Nook is the fastest way to earn money and Nook Miles. So this means I can pay off moving fees fast, buy a house, money to buy the things that you need. Okay, so I'm going through and I'm just saying, okay, this would be my bolded sentence. And these would be my key details to fit into that paragraph after that bolded sentence. Okay, so then buying a house gives you a permanent residence and a ton of storage. Again, bolded sentence. And these will be my key details to put into my paragraph. And then finally, being active around the island gives you nook miles. So again, I have my bolded sentence. And then following that, I have my details for my paragraphs. So let me take just a moment. And I'm going to work with you on developing your introductory paragraph. And then I'll just take a picture to show you what my work would look like when it's finished. All right, so let's get this started. So why is this relevant? Hmm. I'm thinking, what if we say, what you may not know
about Animal Crossings. Is it Animal Crossing or Crossings game? Crossing. And we have the new version of it, so you would put New Horizons. Okay, New Horizons. Are you still taking that video? Yep, still on video, guys. Thanks. Matt, you're going to be quiet. <laughs> All right, so have you had a lot of free time on your hands? So I'm going to start it with a question. Have you, oh gosh, have you had a lot of free time on your hands? We have to. Being quarantined slash on lockdown for the COVID-19 means we've had Some boring rainy days. So we did what any family would do. We used our remaining Christmas and birthday money to buy a family fun video game. This is such a fun and engaging Let me tell you what you may not know. About Animal Crossing. New Horizons. Okay, so then I'm thinking, then I can add in my bolded sentences. That would be like, fishing. and selling the fishy catch. To Timmy Nook is the fastest way to earn Money, they're actually called Bells, and Nook Miles. Okay, so this would be my bolded sentence, and then following that, I would just give a little bit more information about that. So remember, I've already done this work. I already have my bolded sentence, I already have my key details, so now it's just a matter of putting those into a paragraph. 
All right, so I'm gonna type this up and make it a formally written, um, so that a formally written draft, so then it looks more like our mentor text. And I will post that for you guys to see um, what exactly this could look like. Thanks for joining me.